why that's correct. The scientific method is, oh heck. You see, the scientific method is, when you forget, you think, oh heck, what is it? Well, the O is observation, the H is hypothesis, followed by the E, experiment. Yes, that's correct. And C stands for conclusion. So the scientific method is OHEC. So you start with observations where you're observing the things around you. And then if you have any questions, you want to ask questions to see. Mostly people want to know what or why or how or who. And then afterward, you make a hypothesis, which is an educated guess, based on the fact that you have information before you, for example, like you can refer to a textbook or references, or you can ask people and then you make a hypothesis. You make an educated guess based on what you do know. Afterward, it's time to perform the experiment and figure out if what you think was either true or false. And finally, you make a conclusion. It's either does that support your hypothesis or it doesn't. For example, back in the old days, people have a question they ask, where do certain life come from? So people came up with the idea of what is called spontaneous generation because they noticed that meat that's left out for a long time, there's like fly that's just gathered around it. And so where does this fly come from? So in 1668, um, a scientist named Reddy, he tries to disprove that hypothesis. So the observation was, where do these flies come from? In his experiment, what he did was he had two jars. One jar was with meat and left open, and the other jar was with meat but closed off. In his experiment, the control variables are things that he can control. He must be able to keep them in constant. For example, trying to keep the jars similar to each other, keep the temperature the same about, using the same meat, and giving the same amount of time. So those are all control variable. Knowing the control variable in a lab experiment is very important. On the SAT biology, they will give you labs and experiments that's already done before by scientists and then you have to figure out what the control variable is for, or what is the result, what's the conclusion. So SAT biology, it's not as hard. Whereas in AP biology, I've seen questions where um, Part of the short answer, they want you to design your own experiment. So designing your experiment is not hard because basically you can just take any of the experiment you did in your class. Now the hard part that students usually just blank out because they don't know what is considered the control variable or what is the manipulative variable. So make sure you be able to know the difference between for the AP test. So the control variable is everything that's kept constant and the manipulative is that's what is based on your hypothesis, the one thing that makes a change in this case, like where the hypothesis and his manipulative is one jar does not cover one jar is not covered and the other jar is covered. So his conclusion, well, the jar that was covered, there's no fly or maggots in it, and then the one that was not covered was filled with fly. So it kind of disproved spontaneous generation because it shows that life didn't came from out of nowhere. It, has, it shows that life must come from other life.